Hey, this is Chris Menard. I had a great question from a CPA I was training. They wanted to know how much money was made every quarter in a year. And I told them uh, they can do a pivot table and quickly figure it out. And they said the issue is they're on a fiscal year that runs from July to June. They're not January through December. So if you want to know the quarter anyway without using a pivot table, I've shown this before. The month function, I should get the number four here, will always pull the month out of a invoice date or order date. And as you can see, it's working. So then what you do is you combine it with the round function. And I'm going to round up the month. So you know I'm going to get the number four right here. I'm going to divide four by three because there's three months and a quarter. So four divided by three is 1.33. And since it's rounding up, it's going to give me the number 2. And I want to see zero digits. So there's 2, auto-fill down. So there's the quarter if you don't want to use a pivot table. And those dates are correct. But the issue now is I want to go from July. July needs to be 1, so this should actually end up being quarter 4. So now we're going to do equals choose and I'm going to choose the month there close comma and in this example if we're running from July through June I'm going to do I've got to type in 12 numbers here and there's four quarters in a year so I'm going to do three comma three comma three comma four comma four comma four comma one comma one comma one comma 2 comma 2 comma 2. I just typed in 12 numbers. Press enter and April is the fourth quarter. Let's see if this works. I'm going to stop right there. Let's take a look. Uh, July, August, September. There's quarter 1. October should start quarter 2. Let's give it a test right here. Let's make this December 15th and that's a quarter 2. So it's working. So here's why this works. Going from left to right, let me double click in here real fast. So the way this works is it took the month, which is the number four, and so then it found the fourth number over. So there's a three, a three, a three. So then there's the, fir the first four, and therefore it made it quarter four. So, as an example, if you say, Chris, we need to show, I'm making this up again, April through March, you would have to change this, and I'm just going to edit this, so I don't have to do it all again. So, if we want to do April through March, we're going to do, uh, April's a 4, 4, 4, comma, 1, comma, 1, comma, 1. Whoops, my bad, comma, 2. I believe that's right. So let's see if that's right. So April through March. April is the first quarter now. Quarter one, quarter one, quarter one. Quarter two, working. Quarter one. Quarter three, that's correct. So once again, look if you look at that formula, the month is the number 12. So what's the 12th number going from left to right? Well, it's the number three. So there you go. So that's how you take care of fiscal years with quarters. Thank you.